Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Samir Georgi and welcome to my channel, where I will be making videos of the games that I will be creating. I also founded an indie game studio called Gamescape. We all know what our world is going through these days with this whole pandemic and stuff and freely started to get into my nerves. So to get the stress out of my head, I thought of making a game out of it. So let's dive in. This is my first devlog. So to start with, let me say that I had no idea what kind of game that I want to create. Should it be a 2D or a 3D game? But then I thought, given the quarantine, we all have been in our couches for quite a long time. So why not make a game where the player can get off their couch and do some activities while playing my game? And this is where I decided to make the game an augmented reality. The idea is simple, create a game where waves of the virus attack the player from everywhere and the player tries to kill the virus by rotating around with their phones. Yes, it's going to be a mobile game. I hopped into Unity and the first thing that I wanted to make sure is that the camera is, can actually work. And by work, I mean that when the camera is running, I can see the video feed on the screen on the game, the game mode over here. So I started by creating a game object to host the, the, the video feed that comes from the camera and I created a simple script on the camera called Cam Gyro AR. And if you take a look at the script, basically we have a reference of the plane and then we do some initial initialization in the start and we initialize the gyroscope and then in the update we capture the camera rotation from the gyroscope and we update the transform.local rotation of the cam of the main camera and finally i just created a small stop camera function here just in case if i want to stop capturing videos from the camera in case the player dies or something happens in the game so now if i test the game you can see me appearing over here hello this is me and that means that the camera is working after making sure that the camera is working, I created a spawn manager so that the game can spawn enemies toward the player. And basically what I wanted to do is that I wanted the viruses to be attacking the player or running towards the player in waveforms. So the player will be turning around and shooting these viruses. So I created the spawn manager class. And as you can see in the code, I'm able to spawn the uh, I'm able to spawn the viruses every one second, but I added this to the editor screen so that I can change this time later on. And then in the start function, I initialize the time and then I keep counting the time. And after every certain amount of seconds, I spawn the objects. And then in the spawn objects function over here, you can see that I'm spawning these objects or these enemies within different places or random places within a certain radius. Because again, I don't want the virus to be spawned really, really close to the player and then kills the player before they can actually turn and kill the virus. So that's why I have a lot of restrictions for the positions because I wanted them to be spawned at a relatively close not so far again place so that the player can have the time to rotate and shoot the virus so with all of this in place i needed to find a free online 3d model of the virus and i was able to find one and i replaced it with all the cubes and now the virus is attacking the player but there's no way for the player to fight back so I created a simple script that shoots projectile and this script is associated with the main camera because we're assuming here that the camera is the player and this script shoots projectiles and if it hits the virus, the virus dies and it adds score to the player. After that, I created a simple cross object that the player can shoot to regain health in case they were damaged by the virus. And in the spawn manager, you can see in the spawn object, I have a list of multiple viruses and two crosses. And that means that the probability that these crosses will appear is less than the virus itself. One final thing that I wanted to add to this is to create arrows around the screen to tell the player where the virus is because without them, there will be no way for the player to, to know where the virus is. So I created a simple script and this script lies. So if I go here to the free to the prefabs folder and then click on the virus item, you can see that I have created an off screen marker script. And in the script, I use the on GUI 
function to calculate the location of the uh, virus in world space and then map it within the canvas of the camera and put the arrows within the correct location in the screen. So now if I run the game, you can see me again over here. That means that the video is working correctly. And after a certain amount of time, you start seeing some arrows showing up within the screen. That means some viruses are attacking the player. With all of this in place, I created a very simple UI that has the health bar of the player, the score count, and a little button that pauses the game, a crosshair so that the player can aim, and finally the button where the player can actually shoot the virus and kill it. And now if I run the game, this is how it looks like. And again, you can see that the arrows after 5 seconds, because this is how I set them, are appearing. Now the green arrows signify that this is health, so we have two uh, health items that are appearing right now on the screen and we have a virus that's shooting so the player actually needs to rotate now since this is I'm testing right now on a PC I can't rotate the PC finally I polished the game with some post processing effects and the game was working as expected but there was something that was missing I wonder what this is So to make the game more fun, I decided to add the Coffin Dance meme to the game, and it plays when the player dies. And to spice things up, I downloaded the free cough sound effect that plays when the player is damaged by the virus, and finally, when the player dies, the meme plays and it displays the high score of the player. And here's how it looks like at the end. Game over. <laughs> It was now time to publish the game to the Play Store in order to share it with the rest of the world. So I created a Google developer account and I was ready to publish the game. It seems that Google did not approve a game that has a reference of COVID-19 and it suspended my game. However, I found many games on the store that has the exact same reference so I submitted a plea to Google and finally they accepted it and I was able to publish the game on the Play Store. The download link of the game is in the description, feel free to give it a try and tell me what you think and what other features you would like to see in the game. Please subscribe to my channel and support my work and if you like this video please hit the like button and share it and don't forget to ring the notification button to get notified when I post a new video. Cheers!